हाई गाइज वेलकम टू एस सी एम पी और एस सी पी एम सेल्फ पेज पेपर एम सी क्यूज इन दीज वीडियो वी आर गुंड बी कवरिंग एवरी पॉसिबल एम सी क्यू फ्रॉम द मॉड्यूल वन दैट इज डन वी आर ऑल्सो गुंड बी डूइंग एवरी पॉसिबल एम सी क्यू फ्रॉम द बोर्ड ऑफ स्टडीज पोर्टल आर अटेम्प्ट इज दैट वी ट्राई टू कवर एज मच एज पॉसिबल एंड इन एज मच डिटेल एज पॉसिबल so even if you all have done these chapters okay i'm trying to cover everything again with a good explanation so therefore entire revision is automatically done it'll be good for you if you subscribe to our telegram channels where by constant updates keep on coming for this subject and it is uh, passed over to you all further our complete course already consists of everything that module gives you plus all the practical questions of the module plus all the mcqs of the module that course is completely ready the link is there below for those people who wish to be enrolling once you enroll automatically the course starts there is absolutely no need to be calling us for any reason everything is there okay those are like you know the courses which are made which can be enrolled by you directly no need to be calling us and you can access the courses basically through any medium through your browser through your laptop through your your iOS app through your Agenex uh, Android app anything okay so let's see what MCQ we all have today in store so the MCQ is a business model should contain which of the three components out of those four stated below okay which are stated below first customer value proposition second profit formula third impact factor fourth key resources and process so a business model should have which out of these three things here. so the options are 1 2 and 3 then 1 2 and 4 then further you have 1 3 and 4 and lastly you will have a uh, 2 3 and 4 only in case you all know it okay time for you to be commenting pause the video and do that please so first what do you mean by business model a business model is basically how your business is going to be working that is nothing but business model if you are going to be raising funds for your business you got to be presenting your business model to the investor that is where the investors interest will start to be coming then there are four things which are mentioned below first customer value proposition customer value proposition means what you all have in store for the customer why will a customer buy your product or service second profit formula how will you earn profits will be your revenue will be your cost third impact factor how will you cause impact fourth key resources and processes that is which resources and process you all are going to be employing in order to achieve the results that you all think for your business So let's try to look at a normal kind of a business model not a specific one but just a normal one that usually has all these components so if you all see in left there are three in right there are three so therefore that makes it six below there are two that makes it eight and lastly one in the center that is value proposition now what do you mean by all of them so first one in this case is key partners who are your key partners it could be your suppliers it could be like you know some companies that you all are tying up uh, say for marketing up and so on all those things what are key activities and key resources key activities are the things that you are going to be doing it could be say your research and development it could be your manufacturing key resources what resources that you all require okay it could be the manpower it could be the money all those things on right hand side customer relationship and channels that is who like how you are going to be maintaining the relationship with your customers your sales team up and so on channels in this case how you are going to be selling so therefore you are going to be selling to wholesalers to retailers or to the final public only through your websites customer segments what is the profile of the customers that you are going to be selling the things to below you all have your revenue streams your cost structures subtract both of them that will give you the profit formula and lastly value proposition value proposition means why will a customer buy your product or service example you don't go to starbucks for the coffee you go to starbucks basically for the experience of coffee right these days you don't sell a product or a service you sell an experience to the customer and that is where the interest comes so what starbucks offers to you is a convenient place to have talks over a cup of coffee that is whatever is their value proposition right apple sells you an experience in form of iphone okay it gives you the best of the hardware best of the software okay best of the premium services that could be there it gives you the satellite connectivity also so 
Our question in this case was that a business model should have which out of the four things? Obviously, value proposition that is right in the center. You all have profit formula that is in form of the revenue and the cost structure. Impact for impact factor does not come as part of the business model. Okay, that is how will you create the impact? Your strategies are never ever mentioned in your business model, beta. Once you leak out those strategies to the general public, automatically in that case, they will your competitors will start to be using that. Key resources and processes are obviously part of your business model. So therefore, first is there, second is there, fourth is there. One, two, and four. So therefore, answer should be B over here. That's the correct one. I'll see you all in the next lecture with another MCQ. Take care. Happy learning. Bye.